Welcome back everyone to Scavenging with Pineleaf, a series of tales, travels, and trifles. And today our trifles are to defeat enormous beasts, including trolls, as we have here. And mammoths, as we've got here. And also giants, as we have here. Of course, I'm going to be needing 10 of each of these. And this particular set is in the giant halls in the Misty Mountains, which is to the north of High Crag. Oh, did that just spawn in? Thank you for spawning in right on top of me. I always find the mammoths the toughest one to ones to find in here because there are certainly enough trolls and and giants all over the place. At least there usually are. It's the mammoths that we have tricky things finding in. Uh, yeah, I can see there are other people in the area and most likely they're also doing the scavenger hunt or either that or they're deeding. Because of course there are also deeds involving the Involving the Giants. I think there's a deed involving the Giants. Yeah, Giant Slayer. Yes. It says it right on my deed log. Very well. And this actually takes care of three of the seven deeds that I have remaining here. I think there's a, another one that I managed to take care of while I was doing the other parts. Not that I was intending to, but there are some that just wind up getting done anyway because of the areas I was in. And so, let me go and finish up all these opponents and when I am done, we can head off to the next area. Finding good places for drakes can be tricky. One could, of course, run Assault on the Ringray's Lair, which could give you a good number of them, if you're lucky with the spawns. But if you're not lucky with the spawns, then you might not get too many of them. So therefore, I come to a reliable source of drakes, and that is here in the old Silver Teen City in Moria, next to the Silver Teen Loads. And I can easily find 10 of them in here. Because as you can see, I'm already halfway down to it. It also helps that these are pretty low level compared to what I am, so I can easily get through them. That's seven, right? Yeah, that's seven down. So just three more, and I'll be done with the drakes. So this is fairly straightforward. Now, there are some that are a little bit tougher to get, such as the Gortharok. And where am I going to go for those? Hmm. Let's save those for last, because next we're going to take a little trip to Rivendell. And I went to Rivendell because that is the quickest way to the troll shawls and these stone trolls here are the next item I want to get now some of them will be walking along the road like that and those will probably be the most common ones you could find now of course these are only out at night since they turned to stone if it were daytime, since they're stone trolls. But if you are in the daytime, or if you're unlucky like I am and only finding one along the way, then the next path is to head into one of the quest areas where there are plenty of stone trolls even in the daytime. I presume that the place must be 
protected from the direct rays of the sun. So let me get over there, and I suspect I'll get there well before I finish up my quota of trolls. Here are the thieving cave trolls that stole that stuff from the trolls that you start off with when you first enter the troll shawls. And we'll take out some of these and we shall then be better set for this one. Now you can see the trees are rather thick here and they would have to be to keep out the sunlight of course. I would presume that is why they're here, though. I don't know if those trees are really thick enough to keep out the sun completely, but the trolls are not being turned into stone when it's daytime, so I must assume that it is thick enough. Yes. We have... Actually, that was the last one. Okay, all done with trolls. The billboard just hasn't caught up yet. So therefore that takes care of stone trolls so now we need to get some horns. Now there are plenty of places you could go for those but I would say that my first choice on this one will be uh, the Barrow Downs. Yep you heard that right. I find that the Southern Barrow Downs has one of the thickest concentrations of horns so that's where I've been coming when I've been needing them. Such, such as when I was doing the Breland deed for taking care of walking trees. And I preferred this place to the old forest because I found them to be too scattered in the old forest. Now, you would think that you would f more easily find trees in the old forest than in the Barrel Downs, but. And that's the way they went. So, today, for some reason, I am just not finding the... Ah, there we go. But anyway, in the old forest, I always find them too far apart and stuff like that. So, I stopped looking for them in that area. Because, look, I'm already at five and six... Now the problem with this, it's a real tough time getting all the way down here because it's way at the bottom of the barrel downs. So you have to first get the breathe, then travel into the entrance to the north, northern barrel downs, then go all the way through and anything else down here? All right. But usually it takes a couple of moments for everything to respawn, but it takes me no more than a couple of minutes in order to get my quota of 10. That's 8 down. Well, I just need 2 more, and that will be it. So therefore, I will take care of those last 2 and meet you so that we can take care of those Gortharog, which are going to be a much more tough assignment in order to get through those. The final beast I need are Gortharog. Unfortunately, there are some that are fighting rangers, and if a ranger fights a Gortharog, it turns gray and I can't get credit for it. So I will have to go somewhere else for those. Now, I usually go over to a numinous for these. Now there are other places you could go such as Agmar of course. There are plenty of them over there and that might not be a bad idea if you've got a reasonable way to get at the areas where the Gorthrog are. Fortunately they're not exactly conveniently located so therefore I have a habit of doing them here. Now, if I needed larger numbers and therefore take a session and I expect it to be needing 50 or 60, 
then I think it would be worth my while to go all the way over to Angmar. But for a du ten to a dozen, I really don't think I need to go there. Instead, I head over to a span. That's, I think, right around here. Yeah, I can never remember. Ah, well, I do run into a co occasional ones going all over the place. But there's one particular location. Ah, there it is. Yes, that bridge over there. That tends to be relatively thick with them. So that would be my favorite area to go. Unfortunately, it is a favorite location for many people. So you have a really good way to get to Angmar. Maybe you have a milestone over at the location where they are. Then, yeah, that will work well. So what I do sometimes is I come into here, into this place. Then I go into, ouch. Then after I've taken care of the ones on the bridge, if I have any more to do, then I go into a skirmish, one that can get Daywalker Berserkers, and see if I could get one or two from a Daywalker Berserker. Then after the skirmish is over, hopefully everything's been respawned here and I can just finish up the last couple. As you can see here, I am at six. And heading up here and there's always one way down at the end so we'll take care of that one. actually I can't say that there's always one because of course if somebody gets to it first then of course it won't be there there you go that is seven of them those are the ones that are most convenient to get to. So you can see I managed to get seven of them on this little run here. So then I could run a skirmish that allows Daywalker Berserker. So obviously Trouble and Tuck Bro wouldn't be one. But choosing something like Battle in the Tower, which not only allows them as lieutenants, but you could also occasionally get one as an encounter. That one works pretty well. Of course, the other possibility is that I could just wait here and see if any pop up after a couple of moments. And let's see, D completed. Oh yeah, that was for discovering this. Obviously, I haven't been here on this character if I finished up a discovery deed here. Oh, we've got this thing too. Oh, okay. I was afraid it was going to say, You have opened up a new deed! Well, even better if it said you finished up a deed, but you can't have everything. So, let me go and find a couple of more, and that means then we will be done. They have respawned, and only one more to go. And there you go. Year 10 Trifles. Enormous Beasts. Whee! And that concludes our series. Where it does it. And that is because Standing Stone Games said that the scavenger hunt will return next year and that there will be another week with year 11 on it. So when that happens, we should return and have a look at what else they've added. Most likely, Another tale, another travel, and another trifle. We'll find whether that is the case or not when we return next year. And until then, this is Piney Fiddles reminding you to quest responsibly.